Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Smuggling drugs behind bars. One of the officers noticed um, the visitor, uh, this the male visitor, uh, reached into sort of his waistband area and passed it underneath um, the table where the visitation was. So it was packaged, um, you know, your typical plastic, you know, small plastic bag. DEPCOR Deputy Director Kate Baltasar confirming a man attempted to sneak the drug ICE into the prison around 9 a.m. Monday. Which is a 59-year-old male uh, individual um, who was dropping off some personal items, um, which were allowed. Personal items allowed, minus the three grams of crystal meth. Though DOC declined to release his name, KUM has learned that visitor stopped as well Ken Rages. According to GovGuam staffing patterns, Rages works at the Attorney General's Office Child Support Enforcement Division. He's in police custody. Um, if he isn't um, at this moment, he will be very soon. In fact, smuggling contraband into the prison isn't a new issue for DEPCOR officials. And department officials say the biggest problem is people throwing contraband over the fence and into the facility. And that's something they tell me they're working to stop. We're going to crack down on it even more, so there's more to come this year. Meantime, Baltazar says this isn't the first run-in they've had with this particular visitor, but they praise their officers for catching him this time. If you blink, you probably miss it, but thank goodness uh, we have some great corrections officers, um, and one of them was on duty today who uh, was able to intercept that. Rages is facing drug possession charges, among others. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Nick Delgado. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.